All right, so in this next set of videos, we're actually gonna look at how a computer thinks um, when we draw elements in, su in some structural analysis program or software. And there's, there's a lot of programs out there in the industry that companies and professionals use um, to solve problems, to create um, structures within a computer and then have the computer solve um, instead of having to do um, things by hand. So when we're looking for deformations and when we're, or when we're looking for reactions on certain structures, um, there's computer programs that can do it in a couple seconds. Um, so in these next set of videos, we're actually going to take a look at how uh, these computers um, interpret input data that we put into the software. Um, and the, I guess the very first thing we can start off with is sign convention. How do computers um, read or how do computers understand um, which way is positive, um, which way is negative? Um, because, you know, when we do this stuff on paper, we usually say, okay, you know, up is positive or um, clockwise moments are positive. But a computer, a computer has uh, three uh, standard sign conventions. Um, the first one is up or in the y direction is positive, in the x direction this way to the right is positive, and any moment, um, a counterclockwise moment is positive. So this is a sign convention uh, most computers are familiar with and this is what we're going to be working on in this next set of videos. Um, so let's, let's think of Let's pretend we're drawing, um, let's draw, let's open up our computer analysis program and we draw a, fr uh, a line, okay? And it could be, that line could be a beam, it could be um, a column, it could be anything. Um, all a computer knows is that, okay, you just, in, you just drew this line. And the computer knows that there's one line and this line has two nodes, right? One where you, uh, started to draw the element and one where you end it. Okay, and if I call this element or this this line here element I, uh, this node here on the left is going to be uh, node J, and this one here on the right is going to be K. Okay, so a computer, all a computer sees is uh, okay. You drew this line, and there's two nodes, one on the left, one on the right. Now. This element right here that we drew actually has uh, six degrees of freedom. That means six different things can be going on um, on this element, right? Uh, in other words, this node, let's, let's actually start uh, with node J. This node, um, it can rotate. And according to our sign convention, I'm gonna uh, put a little rotation symbol here on node J. And here on K, this can also rotate. Okay, um, and I'll, I'll say that's theta uh, subscript L R. Okay, and L means left or the left side of this element, and R means rotational. And so here on the right, we're going to have theta R R, meaning it's on the right and it's a rotational degree of freedom. Okay, so those that's two of the degrees of freedom. Uh, we need four more because this element has six. Uh, the next one is. Here at node J, this node can move up or down. Um, and according to our sign convention, I'm going to draw that up for positive. I'm going to call that delta sub L T V. Okay? L T V means um, L is left, and T V means uh, translational, and V means vertical. So this is the left delta, and it's a translational. Uh, vertical shear or reaction, right? Or uh, I guess degree of freedom, right? So here on the right, we're going to have RTV for the right transverse or translational uh, vertical degree of freedom. And I can just call that delta. And the last two degrees of freedom is uh, these nodes can move left or right. So here I'm going to call this delta LTA. This means left translational. Um, axial, right? It's going in the x direction. And here it's also going to have another degree of freedom. We'll call that delta R T A. So this is rotational, translational, and um, axial. Okay? 
since there are six degrees of freedom, and I'm going to label this. Actually, there's a certain way we label um, these degrees of freedom. Um, we always do left to right, okay? And we always do rotations first, then verticals, then horizontals, okay? So I'm going to start left to right. I'm going to label these degrees of freedom. So we're going to start left to right, and we're going to do the rotational ones first. So here, here's a rotational one. It's on the left. That's one. This is two. Okay, rotation's done. Now we do the verticals. So this is going to be three, four, okay, verticals done. Then we're going to do horizontal, five, and six, okay? That's how we label um, these degrees of freedom. We do left to right, we do rotations first, verticals next, and then finally horizontals, all right? So this element has, um, since there are six degrees of freedoms, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, there are six different deformations. Uh, that can that can happen to this element, or in other words, there are uh, six deformations that can happen um, at these degrees of freedom. And we usually write this as let me do it in blue: uh, delta uh, squiggly bracket. I guess uh, that means it's a column vector, right? It means it has uh, many many rows, but only one column. And I'm going to write this as. Uh, the six degrees of freedom, um, I'm going to write in order according to this, this little uh, exploding red blue cloud here, left to right, rotation, vertical, horizontal. So left to right, here's number one, uh, that was delta LR, then we have two delta, or I'm sorry, these are theta, theta LR, theta RR, right, sorry about that, and then you do the verticals next, you have delta LTV, and then you have delta RTV, right? That's number four, and then five and six are the horizontal ones. So you have delta um, LTA, and then finally you have delta RTA, okay? And personally, I don't like all these subscripts. I think they make them make things uh, a lot more confusing. So I'm gonna change the subscripts um, to make our, our lives a lot easier. Instead of LR, <clears throat> I'm going to use what? Well, actually, instead of all these subscripts, there's six of them, I'm going to use, um, instead of these multiple lowercase letters, I'm just going to use one uppercase letter uh, for each of them. And that's going to be, well, let me write it here. It's going to be theta P, theta Q, delta PQR, S, T and U, okay? Just um, instead of having to write LR, RR, LTV, RTV, I'm just going to write P, Q, R, S, T, U. So if we look back at this diagram, this is really P, this is Q, this is R, this is S, this is T, and this is U, okay? And up here, uh, these first two uh, deformations, uh, oh, sorry, there should be an I here. This means um, for every element I, there's six degrees of freedoms, and there's six deformations that correspond to uh, each of these degrees of freedom. I'm sorry, to each of the elements. So there's six deformations that can happen per one element in a regular 2D analysis, right? So theta P, theta Q are rotational. Um, theta or delta S R and delta S, uh, those are translational shears, right? Vertical reactions. And then T and U, they're also translational and they're axial, okay? So this is kind of an introduction to um, the degrees of freedom. Uh, the big concept here is these, the sign convention and then also this um, L, or when we label degrees of freedoms, we always go from L, R, uh, and we always do rotation first, vertical, and horizontal. All right, in the next video, we're going to talk about these degrees of freedom um, a little bit more in depth. All right, see you then.